Through the years, the way weather stories have been told have changed dramatically, from Don Kent's blackboards to Bruce Schwegler's coverage of the blizzard of 78. Perhaps the worst winter storm we've ever had here in New England. And Barry Burbank's tales of Hurricane Bob. There it goes. There's the eye of the storm. Here it comes right up just east of Providence. And, just and today, the ability to pinpoint what's happening on a specific road. And zoom in a little bit. Some very heavy rainfall on Monument Street. And if we continue down this atmospheric avenue, what will we encounter along the way? Bill Dow of the Weather Company in Andover thinks he has an answer. Or more specifically, Watson has the answer. You can think of this AI, you know, in our, in our world, in IBM, that would be Watson. That's your personal assistant. And you've told Watson, here's the weather situations that are important to my audience. And when they occur, here's the story that I want to tell. And we'll automatically detect it, create that story, and then send it to only those people that are going to be impacted. The weather company produces almost every on-air weather graphic in the country, and they're looking to artificial intelligence as the future of weather information, learning the needs of every viewer and tailoring forecasts just for you. Watson's been um, monitoring and learning what that viewer is actually interested in, and said, wait a minute, they're a boater. There's a small craft advisory. Make sure you put the small craft advisory on that, you know, Saturday for that forecast. Sounds kind of creepy, but bear with us here. In the years to come, the ability to deliver exactly what you want and nothing you don't will be a big goal of forecast communication. How will it look? Bill says the virtual reality and gaming industries are leading the graphical charge making weather more immersive than ever. Well, far from the days of the chalkboard and a wash down between weather casts, this is the cutting edge now. Still at the green screen, but a whole virtual environment. And we can bring the weather from outside and bring it inside to the studio. Say you send us a picture. We can take that storm photo, show you exactly what was happening with augmented reality, the radar, the downdraft coming out of it, explain exactly what's happening with that image that you sent to us. Markers replace chalk, computers replace markers. Will robots replace us? Asking for a friend. Bill says don't sweat it yet. What I would see is this virtual experience in the living room where you know the viewer says I want Eric's seven day forecast and the seven day comes out of their living room floor and a virtual Eric Fisher is there, starts to tell them the forecast, but it's also interactive. And so the viewer can say, hey Eric, I'm not really interested in Monday. Tell me about the Saturday forecast and select Saturday. And the virtual Eric Fisher goes over and gives them the Saturday forecast. Elementary, my dear Watson. Wow, you know what's funny? We already have that. Because much to Eric's annoyance, we just ask oh. him every time. We have the in, virtual hey, Eric, Eric, I've got a wedding on That's Saturday. True. What's going to be in Manchester? A bike ride. So the real big push is all going to be about customization. Sure. I mean, you've seen Iron Man, those movies. Mm. I mean, Jarvis is not some far-fetched thing. That's down the road, and it's coming soon. So the machine is going to learn what you're like. It will know your personality. It will know your interests. And so we're going to set up all these alerts, these tailored forecasts, and they'll go out to the people who want them specifically. I think that's going to be the future. And it's probably, we can't put too fine a point on this, but you know, all of this technology also makes people mm -hmm. safer, right? I mean, Absolutely. certainly it's about convenience, but it's also knowing the severe weather that's coming mm -hmm. and being able to take shelter. Yeah, and coming up tonight at 11, we'll take a look at how forecasting is changing and how it's kind of following people's behavior so that if you are in your car or your home or you have your cell phone or your laptop, we're going to know what device you're nearby and that's where it's going to go. Wow. wow. Okay. <laughs> Brave new world, Eric. Thank you very much. We have much more still ahead.